Um, since I brought it up and I pulled it up, I, I just think very simply, um, this is a proposal uh, that he made in regards to the trees that I think we can um, uh, do some more investigating on and looking into and getting some more professional opinions on those trees to see if not only um, verify that it is, is a line of sight problem and it could be a liability. Since it has been brought to the attention of, 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 the, uh, of the city, uh, it then becomes more of a liability when, when it has been brought to the attention by not just bus people, but other people as well. Uh, it heightens the liability if, if an accident were to happen to the city um, once, that, um, once that concern has been made. So, uh, in proceeding, since, again, we do have a commitment to making sure that uh, this city uh, has trees and displays our uh, desire to have trees in our city, that we can put this one on our agenda for the, to, to get some information, put this on our agenda for May, the, uh, for May and, our, and our retreat, and come up with a plan that we can present to the citizens, not only for that, but the rest of our trees out here um, on how we want to, want to proceed from the standpoint of our trees. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to also chime in a little bit on that. I, I'm willing to do that um, and look into it a little bit more. But I would like to just be on record as saying that I think this is, uh, this is a very important issue. And I think that uh, I've heard everybody speak in favor of not cutting down the trees and um, I think one of the reasons that I wanted to run for city council is because of the support of people like you who have spoken in that way so I appreciate that. Um, I do think however the trees, I think it's got, it boils down to a point that it's not that people don't think they're beautiful, it's not that people don't want to save the trees, it's not that people don't want to support our <clears throat> our status as a tree city and we, we don't want to do we don't want to take away from that we want to augment that we want more trees not less I think the difference in opinion is uh, whether it's a safety issue or not I think that's pretty fair to, to say I think that's the only difference here um, I go through there every day I, I've gone through there almost every day school day for the last three years with my daughter uh, I go one direction or the other two or three times a day actually uh, it's my opinion that it is a, a safety hazard I've seen I've actually seen two accidents right there at that corner within the past two years and luckily we've only had paint and metal and glass damage and not a child um, but I think that's something that's uh, that sooner or later is probably going to happen based on my observation kids don't watch they don't Often when you're 12, 13, 14 years old, all you care about is getting home and playing Nintendo or talking to your girlfriend or boyfriend or walking, <coughs> walking like this, you know, uh, texting on the phone. That's what they do. Uh, and you cannot, you can't see all the kids. I think that it's not clear if you're not through there during those particular times that there are probably, and I don't think it's too far to say, there's at least a couple of hundred kids walking through there in a, in a 10 to 15 minute period and I uh, really couldn't estimate the number of automobiles that are coming from east and west and north and south coming through uh, all of those streets there. It is true that we, we have a police officer there whether it be Chief Davis or one of the other police officers and they do a wonderful job. Uh, however, when you're watching a couple of hundred kids and another hundred cars at a time within a 200 foot radius of you uh, and even sometimes the police officer is required to walk north on Nelson to a degree to where the library blocks his entire view of Main Street. That's unfortunate, but uh, it, it happens. If you don't have one police officer, you're going to have to have it. They're going to have to be spread thin. So the only reason I say all this is just to impress upon you that it, it, really, is, it really is a hazard. Um, and, but I also agree with you that we, if we're going to remove them, we need to have a plan and figure out what we're going to do to keep the beauty that those provide right now. That's all.
Yeah. 